Hello everyone, I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to format uh, citations from ABL to make sure your annotated bibliographies are correctly formatted, uh, specifically to make sure that your citations have what is called a hanging indent. I'm going to do three different ways. The first way uh, I'm going to show you will be through my 365 Word account, so that's the Microsoft Word that is online. The second way will be uh, from Microsoft Word that is downloaded to the computer. Uh, even though they're the same word processor, the buttons are in different places. So I'm going to show you uh, the actual word that is downloaded to the computer. And then I'm also going to show you how to format using Google Docs. Um, you cannot turn in a Google Doc, but if you're more comfortable typing in Google Doc, then you can type it in Google Docs, and then you can save your doc as a Word document, as a Word file, and then upload the Word file to your uh, Blackboard. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up a, a Word document right here in my 365 account that is attached to my CAC email. Uh, I already have the um, heading typed up. This assignment is due April 3rd, so the date should be 3 April 2022. Uh, it's Times New Roman. Um, it is double spaced. It is 12 point font. Um, I have my title here. I also have my header. See, it says my last name, and then it has this code here. Notice I did not change that code at all. It should look just like this. All right, so what I'm going to do is create the first entry for my annotated bibliography. So your annotated bibliography should consist of four sources, and each source should have um, a paragraph following it that uh, summarizes the source, reflects on the validity, uh, excuse me, assesses the source uh, for its credibility, and then reflects on the source, uh, which means how you plan to use the source in your particular research paper. So I have a source pulled up here from the Alabama Virtual Library. It's just a random uh, practice source. I'm going to click the Cite button. Uh, sometimes, depending on what database you're using, sometimes the Cite button will be over here on the right side of the screen, uh, and sometimes it'll look like a piece of paper and not these quotation marks. But for this particular source, the Cite button is at the top. I'm going to make sure it's MLA. Sometimes you'll have to scroll uh, to make sure you have found MLA, and then I'm going to copy. Just copy it, and then I'm going to go to my Word document, and I'm going to paste. Now, this already uh, is already formatted, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So the font is not correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the font to Times New Roman and change it to size 12. If it doesn't work, then go to 14 and then go back down to 12. I don't know why there's a glitch in the system, but that happens. So once you have changed the font, then what you need to do is on the Home tab, click on these three buttons on the right side of the screen, and then click on Special Indent, and then click Hanging. And what that does is any line after the first one, it indents over to, to the right a little. That is called a hanging indent. That is what your citations should look like if your citations are longer than one line. After you have formatted it correctly, you're going to hit Enter. Hit the Tab button to indent over and start typing your paragraph underneath your um, citation. Your paragraph should have regular indentations. What that means is the second line should not be indented. So you see how when I got to the second line, it was in line with all of this other indentation. What that means is you need to change your indentation for your paragraph. So all you do is you highlight it, 
you click those three dots you go to special and you click none and it will fix that for you so your citation should be hanging indent your paragraph should not be hanging indent okay now I'm going to show you how to do that in Microsoft Word that is downloaded to the computer okay so this is Microsoft Word that is downloaded to the computer so I am going to, I have already copied my source from ABL. I'm going to paste it. And you see here that it is not in the correct format. So I am going to hot select it. And then I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman. Change it to 12. Uh, and then I am going to, in the Home tab, I'm going to click this little button that looks like this. It's the line and paragraph spacing. And I'm going to click 2 because that's going to make it double. Now, to make this a hanging indent, you're going to click that same button, and you're going to click line spacing options. Your computer might say paragraph options. Paragraph options is the same thing. So you're going to click that button, and here in the center of that box will say indentation, and then it'll say special. So click special, and then click hanging, and then click OK, and it will create a hanging indent. You will enter down, press the tab key, type your paragraph under the citation. Be sure that your second lines are not indented in the paragraph. So, to fix the indentation of the paragraph, you just type your whole paragraph and then select it, go back up to the line spacing options, and then click none for the indentation, and it will fix your paragraphs. So again, citation should have a hanging indent. Paragraph should not. Now I'm going to show you how to do a hanging indent in Google Docs. Remember, if you choose to type in Google Docs, you cannot turn in a Google Doc to Blackboard. You will have to click on File and click Download as a Word document and then upload the Word version to Blackboard. But if you feel more comfortable working in Google Docs, I can show you how to create a hanging indent in Google Docs. So I already have my annotated bibliography set up with my MLA heading and my title. I'm going to go back to my ABL, copy my citation, and then paste it onto my Google Docs page. Obviously, this is not the right format, so I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna change everything to 12. It's already double-spaced, but I'm gonna double-check. Yes, it's double-spaced. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, fix the hanging indent. To fix the hanging indent in Google Docs, you click on Format, Align, and Indent, and then go down to Indentation Options. And then under Special, you click on Hanging, and you click Apply. And then when you enter down for your paragraph, enter and then hit Tab, and then type your paragraph. Be sure you change the indentation back to none so that your paragraph has proper indentation. So to do that, you will select your whole paragraph, go back up to format, align and indent, indentation options, and then click none. And then your paragraph will be fixed. Again, citation needs a hanging indent, Paragraph should have a normal indent. So if you have any questions at all or if it's not working for you, please shoot me an email and a screenshot or a screen recording is always helpful. Uh, and I will see if I can't help you get it fixed. Uh, you guys have a great spring break and I'll see you when we get back.